Yeah, 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 yeah. Back at you again. Once again, it's The Zone. We're glad you can tune in. I'm Mike Harrison. I'm one of your hosts for your night. I also got my brother sitting next to me. He really is my brother, Mike Woods. Yeah, what's up, everyone? Uh, yeah, we're having a great show tonight. Great show. As always, the best music you can possibly hear anywhere. And uh, we'll be talking to these clowns out here. Sorry, these are the most respectable people I know. And uh, we're so glad they're here. No, really, I am. But um, just got a boatload of stuff for you. But right now, Larry's going to tell us what else is happening. <laughs> What's up, Mike? Hey, I have a question. What does integrity, honesty, virtue equal? Excellent character. We're going to talk about character this evening. So, guess what? Stay locked in. And Becca's about to talk about that music. What's up, Becca? We have a stellar lineup tonight, Larry. We have Trinity 5-7. Delirious, Tree 63, and our Power Clip of the Week from Luna Halo. Michael, which one's up first? We want y'all to stay tuned because you're going to like this next one. It's from Delirious. They come all the way from the UK and with their smash hit, Everything. So be sure to stay tuned here on The Zone. <laughs> That was Delirious with Everything. I'm Becca, and this is Kendra, and we're going to be talking today about character. It's the essence of who we are. You know, we can be a person of quality and integrity, or not. 
Kendra, what do you think shapes a person, their character? Um, definitely the way their environment affects them. Like, I've grown up in a Christian family and been with Christian friends, and it's just made my life amazing, and I can stand up for what I believe in. Right. You even mentioned you had a, a friend once, and he, uh, you know, what, what happened with him affected you a lot, right? Yeah, I had a friend last year. He shot himself, and just after that happened, I've had a really appreciative and thankful outlook on life. All right, so what you do affects those around you, and it's important to know. Larry? All righty. I was sitting here uh, just a little while ago talking to my friend Jen here, and we were talking about uh, character. And Jen, I have just a real quick question. Um, we're born with a character, right? Now, do you believe that, that character can be altered or changed? Um, yes, I believe it can be changed because I've known people who have had, like, no hope, almost no hope of change or help and they have Christ have Christ come into their life and they alter and change they have a definite character change so you definitely believe that it can be changed I also uh, a scripture comes to my mind is 2nd Corinthians 5 17 it says therefore if any man be in Christ he's a new creature that means that the old character that they're born with can be changed and it says and behold all things have become new so I'm gonna definitely agree with you uh, Mike what's going on thank you Larry uh, right now we're gonna take a really quick break so don't go anywhere but uh, Carissa what's up nothing now, you're supposed to tell me what's up next. Uh, and it's Trinity 5-7 and Luna Halo with the Power Clip of the Week. But Randy says he's got something extremely important to say. What is that? Hey, Was that it? That's it. <sighs> Stay here. We're in the zone. Thanks for coming back. I hope you're enjoying the show. But look, I want you to do two things for me right now. One, I want you to pick up your phone, dial 513-221-4888. Find out how you can get down with our crew because we kick it all the time. In addition to that, then I want you to get up and go to the computer. Then I want you to www.surfthezone.com. And then send us your love via email because we got it going on all the time. And we love you, man. Now I'm going to kick it to my boy Woody with the, I don't know what to call his hairdo, but, you know, tell me if you like it. Woody. He was saying mean things about me. But, um, yeah, like I promised before, uh, Trinity 5-7 is up right now. Um, this video is hot. It's awesome. So uh, watch this, and uh, we'll be right back here in the zone. All right, that was Trinity 5-7 with Put Your Hands. Now, it's time for our Life Center Report, where we take an up-close and personal look at the topic. This one, of course, is on who we are, our character. Take a look. Define character and what you think character is. Tough question. <laughs> I think character is who people are when no one else is around and how they act. Like what de what defines them as a person and how they act around others and how they treat people. If someone doesn't have you know a strong character, they're just gonna go with the flow. Well, character, I think, is someone's ability um, to respond positively under pressure. Do you think people in society today are men and women of character? Not everybody. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. But I think there's a lot of people out there that are just so full of, you know, temptation with people. And a lot of teenagers especially want to be accepted within the group, so they don't let their character come out as much. Overall, you want to say yeah, but, um, you know, you know, not, not everybody, you know, is kind of on the same page. Not everybody has the same beliefs. Can you give me an example of someone in your own life who has character and why? I have to say, my hall director last year, um, she was a really, really caring person. Um, if any of the freshmen had any questions, um, any problems, she was always there for them, just being like, kind of like the second mom away from home. 
My dad has always been around. Um, he's made his business just to be a good father. My mother would go to any heights to help anyone. This one lady came to our church and she didn't have a place to live or her son was in school. My mom got her a place to live, got her son in school. I'm a Hindu basically, but uh, a Jesuit father had a very great influence upon me. He's a great man and he's a man of values. He, he helps the poor. I learned to help the poor uh, from him. Do you think Jesus Christ was a man of character and why? I see that one come. Yes, I do believe Jesus had character. I think that a lot of uh, people define, define character off of Jesus. Absolutely. Uh, he was uh, what the world needed. He set the example of how uh, we should treat other people. Even though people didn't believe in it, he, even though he knew that people were against him, he didn't stop his mission and he still did what he needed to do here on earth. He left himself open to everybody. He didn't judge anybody. and. He also took a lot of stuff, I should say, for, for everybody. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, he, he gave his life for, you know, you know for, for, for people and for their sins. To give your life to save others, to save the souls of others, is definitely something. I mean, people nowadays couldn't do that, wouldn't do that.
Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We're doing our thing here on The Zone, and we're glad that you can join us once again. But we've got a lot of things going on tonight that we want to complete, and we've been talking about character. But before I even get to that, hey, what about that video, Luna Halo with Superman? You know, it's just... <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all, man. I just had a flashback to them Underoos days, you know, with Superman. But uh, anyway, let me move on. Uh, <laughs> we want to sit down and talk with, uh, we've been talking with Jake, and we also been talking with Kayla about this issue called character. And uh, Jake, you and I were talking about, you know, what are some ways we can develop good character? Um, basically, like when you have one of those days when you're feeling bad, um, you just haven't had a good day. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, instead of like beating yourself up and thinking that there's like nothing you have for going for you, Instead of thinking positive or negative, think positive, and everything will be fine. So basically, just control what you're thinking, right? Yes. All right, and focus on the positive. Remember that. Hey, Kayla, we were also talking about the integrity and how that ties in the character. So what are some ways we can develop integrity and being known as having good people with good, good integrity? Well, you can find a good church to go to and pay attention in church and find some good friends that go to that church maybe and learn from their examples. So basically, watch who we hang around with. Yeah. Those are some key points, thinking positively, because it's what you think, who you hang around with, and what you do that basically just controls the character that you have and, 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 and adds to the traits of characterism. So make sure you pay attention to those three things. But we're going to kick it to Woody right now as he uh, takes this subject a little bit deeper. Woody? Yeah, but why is good character so important? It's important because we're supposed to be Christ-like, because we're supposed to be modeling his life that he left down here. And uh, that is our mission, to be salt and light in the earth that we're around. So um, why is good character important to you, Jason? Well, I believe that it's important to have a good character because uh, it shows who you are in your inner side. And like, it also gives you a good reputation and good or bad, which you don't want to have bad because that's just bad. <laughs> that is bad. Jesus had a good reputation, right? Yeah. Yeah, and that's how we're supposed to be like. But uh, we're going to take a quick break again. So stay right there. We've got another video for you right after the break. 363. We'll see you. Zone. It's been great tonight, and if you see us standing here, it's because of one thing. It's that time where we got to go, but before we get out of here, we want to give it up to our audience because they've been great as usual. Yeah. You know, Mike was all over it when he said, look at Christ. You know, he's the ultimate man of character. I mean, all the virtues, integrity, justice, kindness, generosity, sacrifice, sacrifice. He dies so that we might live, and that's somebody I want to be like. Also, remember, info at surfthezone.com. But right now, before we say adieu for another week, um, we're going to leave you with one last video. This is from Tree63. These guys are good. So uh, we will see you next week here in the zone. Hello.